Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where we are talking about Next.js, right? So this is actually the, the GitHub repository where I will be adding all the showcase applications. And we are going to talk about very basic, uh, intermediate to the advanced level applications you can build in the Next.js. We have already covered the basic fundamentals and all the features and all the concepts of Next.js. Now it's time to write actual applications and try to see all those in the demos okay so this application is just a simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a two different pages and here we are using next js 13 and this is already a setup and you can just generate this whole code through the cli app okay here i have a tailwind configuration if you want to have a tailwind styles ts config because we are writing a typescript post css with a tailwind and next config which is saying the experimental app directory i can zoom in a, a little bit so you can see this is like a baseline everything is empty i don't have any apis you can start creating apis if you want and then inside apps you will start creating your pages your layouts and all these things by default currently this application won't render anything because we don't have a default page and default layout right so inside app what i will do is i will create a layout dot tsx okay and then page dot tsx right and we have already discussed that now we have other states also like loading and error page also you can create so i will be creating loading dot tsx and style dot css i mean i don't have a styles but let's create it for the small application i won't be using tailwind and all we can just use small utility uh, helpers or we can write our own styles inside app i'm going to have a two different routes which is like let's say the news and weather and we are going to fetch this data from some api because obviously uh, we are not building a news portal or a weather weather uh, system we are going to use some apis to fetch some random news and random weather data okay here it will have a page dot tsx similarly news will have a page dot tsx so here we will talk about how we can have a synchronous asynchronous components and how we can fetch the data inside a server components so it depends on us how we want to create this component is it a client side component where a client only or it will be a server component where you can fetch the data and all those things you have a freedom right so let's say i'm going to do first uh, weather and how we can create a simple component is export default async and this will contains uh, the whole thing what i'm going to return this is going to return a jsx okay before that i'm going to have an api or let's say here i can just do a fetch const uh, i am going to fetch some data we can just use simple await fetch and there is an api which gives us a random weather of a particular location so fetch takes an argument as an input and then second argument we have is an object and here in the next yes there is another options are available is revalidate what it is doing is we will talk about this what actually this parameter will do is using this we can have some kind of a caching mechanism available in the next js okay so here we are doing just a fetch and then once we have the data we can just do a dot then we got some response and we can just serialize this response and we can return response.json either you write a two lines of code or we, you can just manage the whole thing in just a one line right what we are doing is await fetch and then dot then we got the promise and we just serialize the data and we got the response and what we are looking for if you look into this url what it is giving us it is giving us some weather data so i'm interested in the forecast property so i will get the the forecast object and then this forecast object we can just render on our component okay <clears throat> so first of all you can see we are making some api call and let's say here i'm just printing simple h1 
we will talk about the rendering part like how you can render this data which we are getting same thing i am doing at the page.tsx inside a news here the api will be different for the news because uh, i'm going to hit i'm going to access some another api which is going to give me the random articles here i'm interested in the articles property so i can get it the articles and then hello news let's say now what we need to do is we got the articles we need to somehow manage the rendering part that we can do so this is a kind of an application we are writing right here we are using this another property which is available in the next 13 what it is doing is you can actually revalidate the cache so by default the next js these fetch will cache the queries cache the api call for 15 seconds and after that it will revalidate it and then it will make a fresh call and here we are talking about the layouts and pages so by default on this page i'm going to show simple message okay simply welcome to the dashboard or something like that and then we have a loading property inside loading we are going to show this loading whenever the asynchronous operation happens so export uh, default function loading this is a loading component which will return just loading behavior either you have uh, some loading component or you can simply say loading okay we got the layout now inside a layout we just have uh, two different uh, links one will take you to the news page another will take you to the weather page so this is function app and this is a root layout of the application so you will have access to the children let's say for now just put the any and this is the function app and what it is going to do is it is going to return because this is the root layout this is going to return the whole uh, jsx of the whole page so here we will have html body part and all and then new link i'm just trying to populate these things for us it is just a simple next js right simple layout component we have which has a two new links news and weather because we already have a news route and the weather route okay uh, pretty much this is what we have i mean we can talk about uh, rendering the data because now we have a data from the news and weather pages and we will just write the gsx to render that kind of uh, objects which we have here you can see this is the article data and this is the weather data so i will just do npm run dev <coughs> We got the loading layout component, loading component, page.tsx. Okay. I think this is available. Let's see localhost 3000. This is talking about a simple data fetch and there is some error. Let's see what it is. Maybe I need to clean up the dependencies. So it's all about I need to switch to the latest version and I forgot of doing this. So my the build error gone. Now we obviously we need to use the latest one with 16.18.0 and then I will just do npm run dev and this will just render my application. I mean I know it's not going to do anything because our news and weather is not rendering the data they are just making call i just wanted to show you how we are creating the the page based routes how we are showing the loading state and all compile successfully and uh, let's see this so we got these two links when i click on the news you can see the loading behavior hello weather hello news now what is the next part this loading is coming from the loading.tsx and when you click on it it is navigating to that particular route and then it is making api call now, so how it looks like now you can actually customize this and i already have a template which is talking about how to render this 
we can do it and then we can render the whole component so this is just a simple demo now what you can do is you can uh, render the whole weather information in the weather component in the weather page you can see the whole weather information is coming like this i mean we can format it uh, in some better way and can render the data this is just a simple demo okay how you are making api calls writing this gsx is not part of this video here we are just making this call to this api and revalidating in the 15 seconds and then just rendering the data similarly in the news phase you are getting already the data you can render that uh, just just keep the formatting just do the formatting of the text you are getting and you can show it the whole objective of this is how we are writing asynchronous component how we are using this loading tsx the loading state so whenever any asynchronous execution happens this loading dot tsx will trigger automatically and all of these are server components you can see these all are server components we are not using client only client side or client only okay so this is just like a very beginning begin beginner level example i was talking about i mean it has all the setup of tailwind and all if you want to just write your own apis and all then you can use this example next we are going to make it uh, more improvements and we are going to also write some apis and then we'll consume the apis in the components